Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today we're going to try and fix up this Xbox One. This is one of the original ones here and it's not displaying anything on the screen. So the controller syncs up, it takes a disc in, it seems to wear up okay. It's missing the big lump of plastic that goes down the side here. But doesn't matter what I do, I can't get anything on display, even when I go into safe mode. So when I pinch this bit here, which is a bit awkward because the plastic thing's missing, but the sync button is working because if I press it here, you can see it starts flashing. So when I pinch this thing here, hold down the eject button and tap the power on and keep those two held to put it into safe mode so it can display, for example, at 480p or the lowest resolution possible, it still brings up nothing on the screen. So I paid £31 in total for this, it was up for £25 plus £6 postage and for once the eBay listing was completely and utterly honest, which is nice. It says Xbox make noise but does not power up. Bought this Xbox in a job lot and the guy told me it had no display. I have only got an aftermarket charger to test with, selling this item as parts that I don't know the issues as it won't power on. It's missing the sync button plastic and also the plastic from the top see images and it just goes on to say that it doesn't come with anything else. Uh, power cables and he believes it is the 500 gigabyte model so uh, yeah a, a really good ebay listing let's get this thing taken apart and let's see if we can fix it so here we are over at the now infamous blue mat and before we dive into this xbox one i want to give a big thank you to all the patrons that make these videos a more viable option on youtube and the my mate Vince massive has now grown by another member so we have sasmai cinema Robert Hughes, Operational 117, KitDigital.com, Cassie Clark, Kip Hakes, and now the new member is Max Rockatansky. Could it really be that Mad Max is interested in securing the future of the Trying to Fix series here on my channel? It would be nice to think so. So massive thanks to Max and all the other people from the My Mate Vince Massive and every Patreon and everybody that watches comments and leaves nice helpful messages that we all learn from on these videos. Big thumbs up and thanks to you all. Now, let's have a look at this HDMI port and see what's what. Right, so there's definitely no pins sticking up. Let's put it on macro. Nothing wrong with that. No, I think that looks fine. Right, let's tear into this and let's get the motherboard out. And you can see there that somebody has been in here before because the security tab has been peeled. Right, I've stripped it all down, but I've put it temporarily back together again. You can see everything's just hanging out of it. It uh, hasn't got the metal case inside because something's bugging me about the safe mode that I tried to do earlier. I've double checked online because I remember thinking when I was dismounting this that there was a different way to do it on the Xbox One S and X compared to the Xbox One and I've looked online and on the Xbox One you don't have to hold down the sync button you just hold down the eject and the power button for about 10 seconds. So that's what we're going to do now just in case it is some uh, setting option or for example it could be something to do with the hard drive because I, when I took it apart I had a quick look from the HDMI port there doesn't seem to be a retimer chip on this one unless it's on the other side of the board I didn't uh, I didn't spend long on it but you see it could be an issue with the hard drive why it's not displaying so if we can get it to boot at all then it might give us more options so uh, let's try it now I'm hoping it's going to work because all this uh, thing is just kind of resting in place so hold them both down You've got to keep holding them down until you get the second beep. Oh, no, that's just turned off. Oh! Hold on. That came up there for a second. Right, let's try that again. I'm not sure if this one's working here. Anyway, let's see, look, it's coming up now, 720p, 60 hertz. But then it's going off. I tell you what, let me just turn it on normally, let's see what it does. And that's just unseating the hard drive and connecting it up again has fixed the issue. Yeah, here we go, it wasn't doing this before, was it?
do you know what it's probably going to overheat because I took off the X clamp and now the heat sink's just resting on it yeah it's ramping up now oh well we'll let it we'll let it cut off yeah there you go it's overheated right okay I'm uh, I'm gonna put that X clamp back on and then try it again because I'm wondering if it's a hard drive issue Let's get the X clamp back on and put some new thermal paste on it. I'm just going to use some IPA and get rid of all the uh, all old thermal paste because it's gone hard now. Right, just before I put the thermal paste on. I'm sure the port itself is okay. I'm just going to give it a quick clean with IPA. I'll give the input one a clean as well. Okay, so I'm going to be using some MX4. Refrain, refrain from saying it, you don't have to. Resist the urge. Right, let's pop this heat sink back on. And then, uh, yeah, let's see if this is working now. Okay, so this is only temporary. I'm wondering whether it was the reseating of this that caused the uh, that caused the issue. Because remember, this would have been tested. It's been a part. It would have been tested not just by the person selling it, but the job lot that he bought. Again, how many hands has this gone through? Which is weird because you see, I haven't done anything apart from take it apart and put it back together. And well, I don't know unless the the original person looking at it didn't uh, take out the hard drive or something. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, let's uh, let's see what it's doing now. Right, let's plug in HDMI cable. We'll be careful because it's all loose on the inside. Let's plug in the uh, power cable. Right, that's in. Turn the telly on. But hopefully, nothing's going to short in here. Right, now let's see. See what it's going to do. Yeah, the no signal's gone off. How bizarre. Well, let's see if it's working at 1080p, because at the moment it flashed up there 720p. Bit annoying for the video, but obviously good if you wanted a cheap Xbox. Saying that, by the time you get yourself a controller and also the power brick, I haven't priced up the power bricks, but they used to be expensive. Maybe they've come down in price now that we're ready for the next generation of consoles. Now, I haven't got that little Wi-Fi cable in, the little uh, aerial from the front to the back, so I'm not sure if this is going to work from any distance. Well, maybe this is the problem. It's not displaying, but it wasn't even doing the green screen before. Well, I'll leave it for a, a few minutes, but yeah, it's not uh, it's not doing anything, is it? Yeah, I think it's safe to say it's been about three minutes now that there's nothing happening there. Do you know what I, my uneducated guess is? I don't think there's anything wrong with the display of the Xbox. I think that's fine. I think the problem is with the operating system. So either the hard drive itself is faulty, but I can't hear any clicking, 
So I'm thinking maybe somehow it's just got corrupted. Maybe somebody tried to do something to it. Uh, or maybe the hard hard drive itself is actually, maybe it does have a fault on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the hard drive, I'm going to connect it to my computer, and I'm going to try to reinstall the Xbox software on there and see if that fixes the problem. Because I can't see any water damage or anything on the inside. It's all very clean. It's dusty, but it's very clean on the inside. It looks like an honest Xbox. So let's pop the uh, operating system back on it and see if that makes a difference. I'm not going to talk you through it because it's going to take me at least an hour to do. Watch Andrew Paul's video on it. It's, it's amazing. He talks you through it step by step, telling you exactly what you have to do. So, uh, yeah, let me try that and see if that makes any difference. So here is Andrew Paul's amazing video. This is his YouTube channel here, and this is the name of the video. Replace Upgrade Xbox One Hard Drive Using Windows. You'll find it if you just type that into YouTube, Andrew Paul, Xbox One Hard Drive. It is an amazing video. It's long. It's over an hour long because he talks you through it step by step, step exactly what to type in every step of the way, which is perfect for someone like me because it just makes it really clear. So even if you've never done this before, you're going to have a lot of confidence just copying this video in real time. Just pause it on any little bit that you get stuck, rewind a bit and just do it in real time. And uh, I've used it before to fix an Xbox, and I'm hoping it might fix this one. So the next part of the video you're going to see is actually me after I've done this reinstall of the software. So at least two hours has gone past. I forgot how long it actually takes. But the Andrew Paul video is still great. It talks you through everything step by step. Annoyingly, a few things have changed. I think a few things have been updated since. So it took me a little bit longer to work out the command prompt bit of it, you know, the MS-DOS bit, but uh, yeah, I, I got through it, I got through it. So I was just using one of these little caddies, you know, the ones that you can put your hard drive into and it turns it into USB here. So let's pop it back in. I mean, this might not be successful at all because I don't know, I mean, it showed up on my computer that the hard drive was fine. Maybe there's nothing wrong with this hard drive. I'm just guessing what is actually wrong with this Xbox. Just hoping it's gonna be that. Right, so, I've also got the update on this little USB stick here, which again, took ages to do. So that needs to be plugged in to the USB port on the side here. Now, annoyingly, I have to do the thing where I hold down the eject and power. So I might have to put this back together properly in order to actually get it to work. Because I'm not making a good connection on these buttons at the front, I don't think. Right, okay, let's uh, turn on the te uh, TV. Plug the cables into the back. Right, here it goes. Let's see if it's going to do anything. So I have to hold these two down again. Let's come up with something different now on screen. So although I've got the proper ribbon cable connected up the front, because I haven't got the carcass in it, the board constantly is pushing back. So I can't get the eject one to work fully. So uh, what I've had to do that time is basically push the back of the Xbox right the way in against this board here, and then it's recognizing it. So I'm wondering now if before I even do anything with the hard drive, I could have just done this because maybe that's the reason it wasn't going into the troubleshoot menu. I'm going to go to offline system update because I have got the USB stick over this side here. Right, it's starting to go through.
Okay, so we're saying it's almost there. So I'm not sure now if it's going to hang up or whether it's going to go through. So it's applying it at the moment, it's 31%. And overall, through the whole thing, we are now 72% of the way through. I've had Xboxes in the past with weird faults where it would allow you to go through so far off the update, but then something would fail because there's a problem on the motherboard somewhere. You know, it doesn't recognize something and then it will uh, fail. Maybe similar to that PlayStation 3 I did where I couldn't update it because there was no Wi-Fi card, which is a real shame even if you don't want to use the Wi-Fi card, the PS3 is looking for it and it won't apply the update without the without the Wi-Fi card. And if you get the PlayStation 3 without a hard drive, then you need to install the software on the hard drive, but you can't install it because it needs to update and you can't update it because there's no Wi-Fi card. So, uh, yeah, or Wi-Fi chip, I should say. Oh, it's looking successful. This is different than what I'm used to. Ah, here we go. Amazingly, it's updated itself, and now I'm downloading the game, and it seems to be going through fine. The fans are not kicking in, the hard drive's not making any weird noises. It just seems to be behaving itself. So I'm going to let the game fully download, and then I'm going to put this back together properly, give it a good clean, put a new side bit on, and I think we're going to be done. So here it is back in the case now, and it's looking nice and clean. So I've got rid of most of the dust from it. So now we have the bottom cover on, and all the screws done up. Basically all the screws on here are either T10 or T9, these ones here. So it's a nice console to work on. The only hard bit is taking off the cover because it clips. So to take it apart, you've got to take off the side grill first. It was already missing on here. And then you've got to start from here, unclipping. Unclipping all the way around here, all the way around here. And then it will hinge forward from the bottom here. But you've got to be really careful because this is the most annoying part. There's a ribbon cable that goes to the front buttons. Let me show you it here. And it's a, it's a real fiddly one to do. So can you see that ribbon cable dangling there? So you've got to kind of hook it around. So that's really the only awkward bit. So I'm going to clip this cover back on and then, uh, yeah, do the final test. There we go. So the grooves are much cleaner now and you can see right the way through it. Still loads of scratches on here. I could polish it using some plastic polish, but it's just going to rub off again. They're deep scratches just from having things resting on top of it. It just happens on the high gloss. So here we go. The final bit. Satisfying clicking, here we go, there. It's a good, it's a good honest Xbox, I'm happy with it. So now let's connect it up to the TV and finish on a bit of gameplay. All right, so here it is, all clean and looking good again. Let's see if the disc is gonna load up all right. Yeah, there you go, you can see Forza Horizon 3 installing. So now let's finish on a little bit of gameplay. So there you go, a little bit of Double Dragon, certainly different than I remember. So there we have it. What a nice simple fix. And it looks like the uh, Forza Horizon 3 is installing fine as well, 5.6%. So now it just looks like it was a hard drive issue. Now this is interesting to me because I have an Xbox One X, which is also 
displaying a black screen. So I'm wondering whether that could be hard drive related as well, because you would think with a black screen, automatically you're going to think it's a HDMI problem, and I could imagine people changing out the ports and stuff like that. But it was only when I went back to it again the second time that I seen it did actually load up with the green screen which then made me think, well, it's not going to be a display problem because it was consistently loading the green screen OK. And it looks like it was just a hard drive issue. Why it went faulty, I don't know. That's the same hard drive in there. I haven't swapped it out. Unless somebody tried to fix it along the way somewhere and it went wrong, that is possible. Of course, if this had long-term use, I might find that the hard drive is playing up, but it came up on my computer fine and also it, uh, it sounds fine on here. It doesn't sound to be clicking or anything like that. So I think it is. I think it is going to be OK. Now, apologies. It wasn't really the most interesting to fix this. It would have been nicer if, for example, I could have found a faulty MOSFET and changed it over. But it is real life, and that is what was wrong with this one. It was sold as no power, and I think the person just had a faulty power brick. And then in the description, it said that from the job lot, the person described it as no display. And that's exactly what I found, no display. Uh, so there you go. It's uh, I suppose what's what I've learned is that if something's no display, don't automatically think that it's going to be a problem with the HDMI retimer chip or the HDMI port. It could be a problem with the hard drive. So if you've got any enjoyment from this video at all, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe for more trying to fix videos. Thank you to everybody on Patreon and the my mate Vince Massive who has supported me. Take care. Bye now. tree down fell through the ground like Alice oh what a sound this must be a nest I got rocks and sticks against my chest I'm Alice So you can learn to be kind oh, oh. Tell King of Hearts oh, oh. To arm all his forces So you can learn to be kind